Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to deal with a circuit problem with two voltage sources. Shout out to Urban I727 who asked if I could do a video whereby we have two voltages, voltage sources. One will be a circuit that we have these two voltage sources aiding each other and one opposing each other. So, um, I'm just going to do one problem because it really doesn't matter whether the voltages are aiding each other or they are opposing each other when I'm going to use catch off uh, voltage or current laws to solve for the circuit. Okay, so if I want to solve the problem and I'm going to use catch off laws, I don't really care whether they are aiding each other or opposing each other at all. So let's... Uh, read the question they say find the current passing through each resistor so we just need to work out the current passing through each resistor we can also then work out the power the voltage etc 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 but let's just work out the current passing through each resistor now like i said i'm going to use uh nodal analysis which is Ketchoff's current laws um i'm going to use nodal analysis here so we are going to do this so the first step to, to doing nodal analysis is to choose your ground so i'm going to choose this bottom part this bottom node as my ground okay because it's connected to more of um components here and then i have four other nodes i have one two three four so those are my other nodes um this node, I do know what the voltage of it is. It's going to be that one, the 5 volts. This node, I don't know what the voltage is. So we can call it uh, VA. And this, I don't know what it, it is. Let's call it VB. But this, I know what its voltage is going to be, which is going to be the 4 volts here. Right. So now that we have this, we can actually set up our equations. And what nodal analysis basically says is that the the sum of all the currents that are going in and out of a node is equal to zero so how i solve a nodal analysis i will will choose like i did now and then i'll say that i'll assume that all the currents are actually going out of the node because that helps me to work out my equations so i'll say they are going out of the node like that right and then i'll be able to set up my equations a lot easier um so this is how i would set up my equation let's say uh, i i name the currents here so let's say this is current one this is current two this is current three so what i'm trying to say is for this node uh, VA. I'm trying to say that I1 plus I2 plus I3 should actually equal to zero. That's what the, the, the law says. Okay. So then according to Ohm's law, R is equals to V over I. So we know I is just V over R. So for me to work out what I want is, I just need to take the voltage and divide it by the resistance. And this is how we get the voltage. Very important here. We're going to say, well, this I1 is flowing from VA to positive 5 voltage. So I'm going to take the voltage that it's coming from, which is VA, subtracted by the voltage that it's going to, which is uh, positive 5 here. And then we divide it by the current that it, uh, the resistor that it actually passes through. So it passed through the 5 ohm resistor. That's what I1 is. Plus, now let's try to find I2. I2, uh, I notice that it goes from VA to ground. And ground has a potential difference of 0. Then I'm going to say uh, the resistor that it passes through is going to be 4. So I say divide by 4. Plus I3 is going to be v VA because it's coming from VA to VB over the current that it, uh, the resistance that it actually passes through, which is 3. And then from here, I just want to solve this equation a little bit. Well, simplify it. 
So I'll say between this five, uh, four and three, uh, the LCD is going to be 60. So let's just solve this real quickly. We'll just say simplify real quickly. So I'll multiply everything by uh, every term by 60. And I know in 60, there will be 12 fives. So when I multiply the 12 inside, I get 12 VA minus 60 plus in uh, 60, there will be how many fours? Let me just check that 60 divided by 4, there'll be 15. So it'll be 15 fours. So I'm going to have 15 VA and uh, that's zero. And then here I'm going to have 20. So that's going to be 20 VA minus um, minus 20 VB equals to zero. Now let's just add all these like terms. Uh, let's just use a calculator. So that's faster. We have 12 plus 15 plus 20 is 47. So I'm going to have 47 VA minus 20 VB equals 2. This is the only uh, numerical value that or a term that does not have a variable. So you take it to the opposite side of the division sign of the equal sign. So this is uh, now my first equation. So I'm going to do the very same thing for the second equation, except I'm not going to write down uh, the currents. I don't need that step. Um, OK, but let me do it. Let me do it for uh, video purposes. For those who don't understand, I'll say this is now a uh, I4, I5, I6. And what I'm trying to say here is that for node B, where you have the VB, taking I4 and adding it with I5 and adding it with I6 should give us zero. Therefore, that means that according to Ohm's law, for I4, I need to take well, I need to take this VB and subtract it by that uh, VA over the 3, according to Ohm's law. So the potential difference is literally going to be B, VB minus VA over 3 plus. Uh, the other one that we have here is going to be VB and 0. So let's make sure we go VB minus 0 over 2, I think. I'll correct it now if I'm wrong. And then I, I have VB minus 4. So VB minus 4 over 1. That's a resistance equal to 0. Now let's just solve for this. I need to multiply every single term by 6. So I'll just multiply it by 6. Uh, so here I'm going to have a 2 cancel down this. I'm going to have a 3 cancel here, nothing cancel. So we're going to have 2VB minus 2VA plus 3VB plus 6VB, right? Minus 24 equals to 0. So let's just quickly solve for the VBs. Simplify those guys. We get um, 11VB. And then minus, well, let's write down minus 2VB equals to 24. So what you want to do really is that you want to make sure that, um, so VA, sorry, they, VA. You want to have the variables um, underneath each other, basically. So let me just write down the other equation below this one. It was a uh, 47VA. Uh, minus 20 VB equals to 60. Let me just verify that. Yes. Okay, so you just want to write them like this because after you did that, now you can take your calculator and actually work this out. So when we work this out into the calculator, we need to go to mode number five for equations. And then we put in the coefficient. So like minus two, and then I put in 11 and then put in 24. So that's the first equation. Now I'll go to the next equation, 47 minus 20 and 60. And then you just go equals again. And uh, the first answer you get is for the first variable, meaning that 
uh, VA, let me do it like this, VA will be equal to 2,3, well, when I run it off to four significant figures, I need to run it off here. So it's going to be 2,390, 2,390. And uh, the other one that we have, it's, it's going to be just press equals again, and then you get that VB is going to be 2,616. So VB is going to be 2,616 volts. Now that I've found these uh, values, I can go ahead and work out all the six currents i'm not going to do it in this video let me just work out the currents current i1 i2 i3 uh, we said um let's see uh let's see if our answers was actually correct so current i1 over here we said this is how we can actually work it out so let me work it out because i know what va is now right so Putting it into the calculator, I will actually have um, VB was a uh, 2,39, 2,39 minus 5 over 5. Yes, let me just be sure about that. Uh, say 2,39, yes. So 2,39, and it gives us uh, an answer of negative 0,52. So that means that the current passing through here is 0,52, but I said it goes from VA to the positive 5 volt, volt source, which is then incorrect. It goes actually the negative side, so the opposite direction to what I chose. So this is a current going into this node right and let's work out the other values uh the same way so let's work out i2 i2 we said is going to be 2,39 which is va minus the zero over four and we get the current to be uh well zero comma positive right so this is a current going out which is zero comma six or uh, six zero amperes amperes for current Okay, let's work out the last current there, eh? which is, uh, we said it's going to be 2,39, which is VA minus the VB, which was, I forgot already, it's 2,616. So that's going to be uh, 2,616 over 3. And that's going to give us a negative value of 0,16. 0,08 when you round it off so let's just put those values in here so that means that it's going in the negative in the opposite direction it goes it goes into the node my first analysis was like it's going out but now we can conclude that oh it's actually going in that's 0,08 amperes and let's see whether we were correct with all these values so we just put them into the calculator and say well What Ketchoff was trying to tell us is that the current, the, the sum of the currents going into the node must be equal to the sum of the current going out of the node. So if I take 0,52 and I add it with 0,08, that should give us the current that is going out, which is 0,6. And that's how you can actually solve um, circuits using uh, Ketchoff's laws um, with 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 two voltage sources or even if you had current sources it does not matter how many you have you can still solve this way uh let's say for example i had this source put the other way around such that i have a negative then a positive a negative then a positive so let's scratch this line out let's say the four volts is here So what I would have done then, I would also say, well, this is ground and this is going to be the 5 volts and that's going to be the VA and that's going to be the VB. And this now, this node over here, I will say it is negative 
four volts because the, the negative side is facing this node. So I would have said it's negative uh, four volts. And with that, I would have actually solved for this problem quite uh, quite nicely and I'll get the same values. So let's say this current going out this way uh, to find that current, I would have said it's VB minus the voltage that it's going to, which is negative four over one and literally i would still get the same thing so whether the voltages or the currents are actually swapped around and they're opposing each other or aiding each other it it does not matter you just still stick to the to the method of getting your equations and solving for the values and then analyzing your answers right so that's the end of the video um if you do like these videos please subscribe and share with everybody leave a like and you can comment down on the comment section to to ask for if if there's anything that you like me to to create or to make a video about i'm more than uh, willing to do that thank you